Hello everyone and welcome to Frame 316 Media. So today, I'm just gonna be doing a very quick demonstration on uh, how I set up my uh, streaming uh, because there's a lot of friends, you know, and a lot of people that I work with who is asking me, uh, really the, the question is, do you need to spend tons of money on a stream? or even for your Zoom meetings or for uh, webinars. Actually, it depends on the scale of the work that you wanted to do. So what I'm going to be showing you today is something that you can do at the comfort of your room. You know, you don't need like a large space, an actual studio space. But the concept and the principles of connecting the devices is the same. You know, if you want to scale up and do something, you know, more serious, uh, if, if you have the luxury of, you know, a big studio size, a uh, big size studio uh, in your office or in your headquarters. But what I'm going to be showing you is for those individuals or small business owners or trainers or, you know, business coaches who want to add a bit of a flair, you you know, you want to make your presentations more creative. Uh, you know, you, you, you always complain that uh, my computer webcam, my laptop webcam really sucks. And my, my audio is like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on a phone call for the whole hour duration of my webinar. So today... As you notice, I have all these, you know, toys in front of me. So I'm just going to be discussing quickly, you know, how, how you can uh, make things better on your next web stream, uh, web, uh, webinar, live stream, or Zoom broadcast or Zoom meeting. So stay tuned and it's coming up on Frame 316 Media. What do you really need to make your webinars, your streams, your Zoom meetings uh, more presentable, you know, or more, uh, uh, it's, uh, it has a better audio, it has a better video. So what do you really need? Do you need to spend tons of money for that? I'm going to go through uh, the basic equipments that I have. And uh, what I have in here, actually, I have done streamings, you know, live streams for uh, small clients who needed you know, just a better um, broadcast on their uh, social media platform, but they don't have the budget to really, you know, scale up and buy those like big lights, those panoramic uh, backdrop. And, you know, they just want to add value to their target audience. So uh, that's what I'm solving for them. So what we have here is basically you can come up with uh, different combinations, right? Uh, you just have to decide what type of microphone are you going to be using. And for me, I would either use this, the one that you're seeing right now, this uh, condenser microphone with me uh, when I'm doing the, my stream or when I'm doing my broadcast from my home studio here in Singapore. But if you want to be something that's more you know, mobile or you're moving or you're demonstrating something, you would need something, a, a lavalier mic. So I have a few options here. So you can go high end with uh, the Sennheiser, okay? I think this is the G3. Uh, this is an older version, like mid-2010, okay? So you can have the G3. It has really better quality, but it's very pricey. So this is one of the equipment that I invested when I started doing uh, videos. Or you can go for a more cheaper one, which is the Boya. Uh, sorry, guys, I don't have a top camera right now because obviously I'm going to be showing my camera because I'm using an Osmo Pocket right now to record this. And my spare cameras I'm going to be dem using to demonstrate today. So you can use a Boya. Okay, this is a Boya love mic. Okay, this is very uh, handy. It has good quality audio, but not as good as the Sennheiser brand. And of course, you need the camera. So I'm going to be demonstrating with one of these. So you can either have the, you know, this is a very popular camera, the Sony ZV-1. Or I have an older one, which is the OMD EM5 Mark II. And... Um, how would you choose a camera? That's a question. So what you will do is you would uh, do some research, you know, if the camera that you plan to buy has a USB uh, enabled uh, webcam feature, right? Like for the Sony ZV-1, it just got out sometime in October, you know, early October or mid-October. And I think 
uh, for the OMD M5 Mark II. This is one of the five cameras, I think, of the Olympus line that allows you to use USB and use it as a webcam. And it's practically easy. You would find out the camera model, download the webcam software, install it on your camera, and then the next time you plug it, it's gonna be detected as a webcam. I'm gonna show you later. Although all these are installed on my uh, computer right now. And of course, most importantly for your audio, how are you gonna plug this, right? Are you gonna plug this directly to your uh, microphone jack, right? The, the input jack of your laptop? Of course not, you need something like this, okay? This is what you call the audio interface. So I'm gonna be showing you the complete audio too, okay? Hope you can see that, okay, there. So this is an audio interface. So what this does in essence is this serves as a sound card. You know, in, instead of plugging your microphone uh, directly to your computer, you plug it here first, and then you plug this as a USB device, and your computer, your laptop would uh, detect the this hardware as a USB input, and it's plug and play you know for this uh device i didn't have to install anything depends on the version of your operating system of course and of course all these cables right <laughs> you won't make any of this work without you know having these cables around you all right so more about cables there are cables that there are cameras that are really sensitive about the cables you know you really you know, want to find out uh, the, the right cable, you know, where some cameras or computers will not detect or will not work when you use third-party cables. You know, the cheapo cables that you buy on the store where you said, oh, I'm going to buy this because it's, you know, less than $10 or less than $15. But if you have the budget, go for something that's more specifically fitted to your uh, equipment. Okay, so right now, I have StreamYard on my screen. So I'm just gonna show you how this works. Let's just put the other stuff on the side. So I'm gonna show you how this works with the uh, Zoom, okay? ZV, uh, with the Sony ZV-1, okay. What I'm gonna be doing is practically the same, whatever equipment you're gonna be buying, okay? It's just a matter of finding out, is this compatible with my computer? Or is this uh, really, you know, good enough quality you know there's always a catch when you try to buy the, the cheaper ones okay and uh, before I forget uh, these devices the audio interface would allow you to plug in a phantom powered mic you know what is a phantom powered mic so microphones like this what I'm using right now uh, requires uh, phantom power so you cannot easily use this by just plugging it on any recorder you know your recorder or your interface should have a phantom power built in so uh, it's easy to find that out when you're trying to you know buy this okay, i'm just going to show you this bit of cable here so this is a two in one you no know, quarter inch i think this is a quarter inch i forgot what this is called the smaller one so why i use this specifically for this uh, interface is i'm going to plug this and if you know in case you want to hear stuff in a bigger speaker or in a bigger monitor you're just gonna have to input this uh on a monitor but when streaming i would usually use my headphones so uh it's up to you okay so right now what i'm gonna be doing is we're just gonna be plugging in i'm gonna use the you know the usb cable provided by sony cv1 you know just to be safe because sometimes the third party softwares or third-party cables are not working so i'm just gonna open this up uh, first let's just plug this in now to be safe so that you won't be bumping around and messing up our camera so this is pretty straightforward as i've mentioned i have already installed this so i'm just gonna plug this here in my usb port and I'm just gonna turn this on. Okay. So I'm just gonna put it here. Hi. Because I'm just gonna be demonstrating. I don't have to point it to to anything. Okay. So probably point it to me. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So you would see my laptop here. Okay. So you see uh, the quality of the, the depth of field that you have with your camera right here. Okay. So this is my camera. You know, don't mind what you're looking at. Uh, we're just going to be uh, trying to make this work. Okay. Next, we're going to have to plug our audio interface. Okay. Again, this is a USB device. So you just have to plug it. I just gonna make this work because there's a lot of cables in front of me right now. So I'm using a MacBook um, um, mid 2014, I think MacBook Air. It has two USB, you know, remember USB? <laughs> the new MacBook Pro users. Now I have it plugged and as you would see, there's a small light here, you know, it's uh, USB. It says the USB is powered. Okay, and if I'm gonna push the phantom power, you would notice. Yeah, I hope you can see that there's an additional uh, light in there that tells you, you your phantom power is on. Okay, next. We're just gonna be plugging in our microphone, okay? As you can see, the only thing that we've done so far is plug the devices you, you don't actually need to do you know any configuration you know advanced configuration so uh this cable is what you call the male xlr okay so usually when you buy this for sennheiser they have already provided this i don't know for uh, i forgot for boya if they provided that okay so i'm just gonna plug uh one of the sennheiser here as an input and you have to look at your what they call it your love mic you know sometimes i get this mix up uh, as you will see here this is the mic input so this is where the microphone should go obviously okay so let's get our microphone okay so you won't be hearing an actual stream but we're gonna try uh, i have um Feel more installed on the computer. Let's say if it's gonna be able to pick up whatever we're doing right now. So I'm just gonna put this here, you know, just just for demonstration quickly, and plug it on my Sennheiser. I always forget which one is the transmitter and the receiver. You know, I have a wireless electric guitar, you know, Bluetooth thing. I always forget that. Okay, so. First, that you have to do is you have to make sure if the signals are good. You know, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, test mic, test mic. See that? Okay. So that's a signal that's coming in from my um, lav mic, which is plugged on this uh, audio interface. So that's it. We're practically ready to stream. So you're just gonna go to Streamyard. Uh, my stream yard right now has a lot of broadcasts here so we're just going to be creating a broadcast so what we're doing is we're going to just skip and record so demo because what you can do with stream yard is you can do just a recording uh, stream or recording meeting recorded meeting or you can stream to youtube facebook linkedin uh the free version will allow you to stream on one platform but the paid we should have, have the paid version you can stream on multiple uh, platforms at once we're just gonna be selecting our sony camera here as such uh yes see this okay that's my hand okay i'm moving my hand yeah, because, you know, I wasn't able to use another tripod. Just to show you that it's working. Uh, right now, you can see that my camera is detected. My Sony CV1 camera is detected. And when, I'm, when I go to audio, I'm just going to select our complete audio 2. That's the name of our interface. So it depends, okay, if you're going to buy Focusrite, Solo, or, you know, other, other audio interfaces out there. You just select whatever the brand here. And if you want to test, yeah. Uh, again, I cannot test, I cannot, uh, you cannot hear that, the speaker, but it's definitely working. So you would notice here the signal of my audio, so I can practically adjust because my audio interface here has a knob if it's too loud or if it's too soft. Okay, so now we're practically ready. I am just gonna join the stream 
And I'm gonna add this. You know, again, it depends on whatever streaming software you're using. You can do this directly to YouTube, but I've done testing with YouTube. I don't know why uh, at 30 seconds, you know, my stream gets cut. So I opted to use StreamYard. You can use other uh, applications. OBS, you know, it, it's quite straightforward. But with, with the nature of my work, with what I do with, I have to interact with the audience. I have to make, um, help my clients or the people I'm helping interact with the audience because StreamYard, it would allow you to uh, read the comments you know, and reply to the comments and show the comments on screen, which you cannot do on Zoom. So right now I'm here and as you would notice, uh, uh, I hope you know I'm, I'm able to capture the audio here, but we're practically good. No? So it's as simple as that. So you just have to point your camera at yourself or whoever it is you're streaming. And as you would notice, we only have two devices plugged in. So practically what happened was you replace your computer's webcam and your computer's uh, default uh, sound, the input and the output with the audio interface and the camera of your choice. So I hope this episode has been helpful to you. And if you have any questions, just drop it on the comment section below. I'm going to add the links on, on where you can buy all this stuff if you prefer to buy this after watching this video. And if you are uh, getting any value out of this, please hit subscribe and share this video to your friends who's, who's, who's still trying to figure out uh, what to do, you know, uh, what to buy, what equipments uh, are available, available for them uh, when they need to upgrade you know their webinars their zoom meetings and their live stream broadcast so just gonna wave here in front of the lens so thank you for watching it's time to go to work it's your time to grow and see you on my next videos